Before we go any further, meet Big Bertha. This is my mother of a variac. I've got another small one, but this is the one I've had for years and years and years. Um, it's a pretty grunty one. Um, maximum of 10 amps, so it can definitely uh, power up a few things. It's blown up a few things in the past as well. <laughs> we've, had, we've had a bit of fun. <laughs> but um, originally it was only one actually meant for... Um, Wrenchy only, only went to 100 volts or on there basically and um, a friend of mine actually um, he looked inside because it, it was his originally and um, he, he gave it to me before he moved and he actually found a stopper in there so he pulled the stopper out so you can basically allow it to turn the thing all the way around um, so um, yeah so it's quite a very handy piece of equipment this but uh, yeah okay well moving on anyway um, now I've got my meter hooked up to the B plus line um, just got the other end of the um, Malleate clip hooked on to the um, uh, um, positive terminal of the main B plus rail off one of the filter caps that I, I replaced. So, um, what I think I'll do is I will apply some power, I'll flick the switch on and basically watch that and um, just monitor everything. And well, it's all, I mean, I can't physically, I can't get around and stuff. I can't get it. I can't move the chassis out and physically start measuring voltage, test vo voltage in various parts of the chassis because I can't. I just can't. The, the way it's designed, I won't allow me to do it without having to unplug everything, including the EHT cap. So, okay. Well, what I'll do. I'll, by the way, it's this TV here. Just for those who, who may have forgotten about it. Okay, we're on. Um, okay. Alright. Okay, let's um, give it. Yeah, there's the HT, sorry, the, there's the HT climbing there. Seventy volts at the moment, climbing. So I might just leave it there for now. Put it on about eighty volts. Basically, see what see what happens from there. All right, probably any good as you know. Signs of life, life yet. So. Um, by the way, too, um, just a word of caution when mucking around with old TVs, they have lethal voltages in them. So unless you know what you're doing, don't go poking around in these things unless you're confident because um, you, these things can hold quite a, quite a nasty charge in various parts of the circuitry, especially around the EHT section. You know, these sort of, sort of um, 8, 9 kV basically ge generated in there and um, you can get a decent belt off the top cap of the EL. Of the, of the lineup of valve as well, so just just be wary, um, just be very careful when you're mucking around inside these TVs. Um, just a word of caution. They can give you quite a decent belt. <laughs> I've had my fair share of them in the past, and they're not nice. Okay, well not much is happening in there, so I might just increase it a wee bit more. <clears throat> And yeah, again, unless you're experienced with, with mucking around old TVs, don't don't power them up, basically, with all the original components in there because you're just asking for trouble. You know, caps, filter caps go short, caps short out, and, you know, it puts, puts a strain on, puts strain on the power transformer and other various components and can cause smoke and damage other transformers and bits and pieces. It just, yeah, just, just pays to be a bit careful. Um, okay, I mean, normally, normally when I actually restore a TV or try it out. This is probably my the way I do it. I mean I know some people like to go through and change all the caps and do this and do that, but I kinda I kinda enjoy it this way better because you actually get to fault find the set. You know, along the way you actually get to see the faults and then you have you know if the set works and you've got cramped vertical or no horizontal drive or no IF, no video, no sound, you actually can go through and actually fault find along the way. Probably also also probably learn too. You actually learn about how the circuits operate and all that sort of thing. Yeah, enough of my enough of my bloody blabber. So, <laughs> oh, just give it a bit more juice. 
So I've got a bit, well, on about 120 volts AC at the moment, so... Okay, 100... Oh, I can hear something making a noise there. <clears throat> Said I have no idea when the set was last powered up. Haven't a clue. The previous owner said 20 years ago, but that could be 30 years ago. Actually, those are at last. I want one of those things bloody short on something as well on side behind the insides and So far, no. Nothing seems to be stressed, no sign of smoke or anything. Um, give it a bit more. Hello, I can hear things gapping there. I can hear. I can hear the vertical output transform or oscillate, and I can hear it buzzing. Yep, the vertical stage. Yeah, the vertical section's running. I can hear the transformer buzzing away. So that's so I was getting H getting power of some sort. Okay. Time to up the ante. Hehe. <laughs> well, increase the voltage and as they say, chain for maximum smoke. <laughs> I don't know if the actual microphone can hear that, but I'm not sure how sensitive this mic is on the camera. I can see it, I can certainly hear it. But, We've got signs of life happening there. Must be a vertical hold. Detect the tube probably. Probably a 6AV6 is probably just got a dirty sock or something like that. Well. Definitely appears to be some life there. I can hear things making noise. Ooh. 
Mm, something, something made a noise then. Okay, do we have any EHT? <laughs> Once again, don't try this at home, kids. A little bit there. Yep, it's a tiny wee bit of EHT there, so that... Oh, hello, hello. Oh, I think we've got a gassy 1B3, I think. I can see that glowing purple, that's not a good sign, is it? It shouldn't be glowing purple like that. Hmm. Something a bit more sinister going on here. Okay, that shouldn't be glowing like that. Hmm, alright. I might just um, investigate further actually without doing any more. We might have a short or that track, a uh, shorter capacitor or that um, rectifier shot possibly. But you don't want like it at all. No, that shouldn't be making that colour at all. Not a good look that is. Okay, I might just um, investigate a little further and we'll be right back with you.